All right, everyone. Welcome to Is He Gonna Die? On today's episode, stairs. Here we go. Yeah. He didn't die. Welcome back, everyone. This is uh, part three, I believe, part four, whatever, of the shop house, barn dough, apartment, barn department, whatever you want to call it, build. So if you haven't been watching, we are building an 850-ish square foot apartment in the back of my shop. We've already done the main floor studs and the subfloor, so now it's time to get some stairs in, so let's go. Okay, so the basic width of our stairs is going to be 36 inch, so three foot. We've got that marked out on the floor for my exterior stud wall that we're going to put in. And then, uh, like I said, we're gonna do three stair stringers. And um, as far as where my landing is gonna be, I'm going to map out my uh, stringers first and then set them up. I'll set it up at least one stringer up onto the wall to see where it's going to land and that'll tell me where I need to exactly where I need to put my landing up top. So and speaking of landings what we're going to be doing is building a three foot exterior landing that'll more or less be like a platform and then it'll double on the main floor as our pantry um, our top of floor is right at 98 inches, so we're going to, I bought 12 foot 2 by 12s and we're going to do a 7 and a half inch rise. We're going to go into all that here shortly. Um, with that 7 and a half inch rise, it's going to give me 12 steps with the final step being the landing itself. So you'll see all that come together. We'll get it mapped out and let's build a stringer. So let's go over some basic uh, figures, some basic figures here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to have, we got our rise over, we'll just mark this, for our run, okay? Rise, run. So the total rise, T-R-I, we'll call it. The total rise is going to be the total amount of height in which we're wanting to increase our stair risers to be. And our total run is the total distance in which it's going to cover. So essentially like this, if that makes any sense. So our total rise for this build is actually going to be right at 90 inches. 90 inches, okay. And our run, I haven't done the math yet, uh, it should be 120, I believe. 120, pretty close to it. So the best way to figure that out, we know that we're going to be doing a 10 inch, 10 inch run and a seven and a half inch rise. The run, the run I pretty much knew that I wanted at 10 inch and our rise, it actually just kind of worked out perfectly. So our, to figure out the number of steps that we're gonna have, we've got our 90 inch rise divided by seven and a half and that equals 12. So that means that our stairs are gonna go up 12 times. So pretty much for our run, since we know that it's going to stop and end at that, and then the next step will be our platform, then we know that our total run is gonna be right at 120 inches as well. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna to go to the square and map it out there. Just like we were talking about, now that we know we have our seven and a half inch rise and our 10 inch run, we will take our square, line up our 10 to the edge of the board, and then take the other side, line our seven and a half to the edge of the board. We also wanna make sure that we have enough distance here for our seven and a half inch rise there so that we can square it off. And what I'm gonna do there is, since we don't really have a whole lot play with, we're going to take this and I'm going to move this down until we get closer to our seven and a half. 
Once you have everything lined up, you can take a two by four and create a jig, clamp it in place so that it's repeatable. Mark your first set of stairs and then you move up and put your uh, riser in line with your 10 inch run and then you can mark your next set of stairs. You just continue that path the whole way through for your total number of steps and then cut everything out. So now that you've got all your stringers marked out, you just cut it. Um, one thing I will advise is when you're using your skill saw, don't cut all the way to the line. Cut close to it, then use a sawzall or a hand saw to cut the rest. That way it's nice and square. Okay, we got it all cut out. I think I might have screwed up, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna put it up on the wall just to kind of see how it looks and then go from there. Everybody pause the video right now and put in the comments if you think I screwed up or not. Okay, so I mean, it gives me some visual representation that I bought too short of the board. So what I should have done, yeah, I should have bought a 14 footer instead of a 12, because that would have given me my one extra, one extra landing there. So, it's unfortunate, but, you know, that's part of learning. I might. Ah. So we're going to go buy some more boards. You know, the, the principle is the exact same. Nothing, none of that has changed. The stair and the risers and all that are right where I want them to be. I was just one step off in my math. I got to go get a longer board, so... We're gonna go do that, do it all over again. And then what we're gonna do is, once I get my one that's cut and right where I need it and want it, I can use this as a template, lay it on my other two by 12, and then just trace it out. Rinse and repeat one more time. I'll have three stringers, and then we'll frame it up. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, that's more like it. There you go. Now, you get the idea. 10 inch run, seven and a half inch riser, or rise. And then, I think it's right at, I wanna say it's eight and a half. Let me grab the tape measure and I'll tell you why. So it's going to put our floor right at seven and a half. So pretty much right on the money. So another thing we are going to do is we are going to cut the bottom of this run. We're going to take an inch and a half out of it because we are going to put a bottom run uh, underneath the stringers in order to anchor to the concrete so it's not going anywhere. And then the rest is pretty straightforward. I got to do this. This is going to be my template now so that I have an exact cut. Um, it turned out beautiful. Um, so we're going to use this as our template and then make two more. And then we can start marking where our box is going to be. But it's pretty much right here. I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people will try and say, like, <sighs> Just a lot of people say that we should probably, that I should have built my box, my landing first. Um, the only reason I didn't is I didn't feel like doing the math to see where my uh, landing was going to end up. So I figured it'd be better off just to set the one stringer up there, put it exactly where I want it, and then I can grab my pencil and 
draw a line, and then I can build my landing accordingly. So, all right, enough blabbering. Let's cut two more. So now that we have the stair stringers cut, we can start building on our platform um, or our landing, which is gonna be three foot by four foot inside dimension. So uh, we're gonna make our stud wall for that, more or less bring our stud wall all the way out there, but I'll make, I'm gonna make my box first, just, I don't know, to kind of give me some form of a visual and then, uh, then we'll make our stud wall accordingly. So uh, let's get to it. The landing is pretty basic. It's just a three foot by four foot landing. We did the Joyce 16 inch on center and then we secured everything down with the GRK wood screws to avoid any kind of squeaking, especially in our high traffic areas. But we got that locked down and then we start framing up our stair stringers. With the stair stringers, we got them all spaced out. They're all gonna be 36 inch apart. And then we uh, take a board at the top side for one of these steps, screw them into place, and then we'll take another board at the bottom side and lock it down as well. I tried to do it about the second step up and the second step down, step down from the top, just so that I could have that uh, maneuverability whenever we lock it into place. Now that those are locked in, taken. Don't know if this is the right or wrong way, but it's the way that I'm going to do it. I'm going to take and put it, stand it up, put it up against the wall, get it level, at least with the inside, the inside stringer. I know that's going to be kind of twisted. We're going to get a board, put it on the inside, straighten it up to where it's supposed to be, and then um, level it accordingly. Then we can build our frame wall. And um, we're going to brace this so that we can get our landing in and we can throw in our stud wall off of that. Now that the stringers are locked in place, I can stand up on his side and put on the bottom plate so that I can lock the stringers onto the floor. And then once that's done, I can take a 2 by 4 and I screw it into the middle stringer and it acts as like a tripod. So I leave the screw uh snug but not real tight that way it allows it to pivot and then you'll see here in a second where i stand the stringer up and as i stand it up that leg just falls down and naturally acts as a stop for me going up and boom just like we had planned holds it right in place so that i can grab the sides and slide it into position and then lock it down this definitely helps if you're working by yourself. You know, if you have assistance, it would also help. Now I make sure everything's level on the outside because naturally it's going to want to fall. And we lock that down with another 2x4 as a temporary until I can get my stud wall built. And then once the stud wall is built, uh, both stringers, both outside stringers, will be screwed directly to each individual stud. All right, everyone, welcome to Is He Gonna Die? On today's episode, stairs. Here we go. Yeah. He didn't die. Using the tripod method here as well to get our top landing in place. A little bit of a struggle bus, but I finally got it up there. And then we lock it down with some more screws. The more the merrier. You can really never have too many screws in this situation. Well, I forgot to film putting the stud wall up. But if you're watching the other videos, you saw me put up several other stud walls. 
you haven't seen me do it, now's a great time to check those videos out. Shameless plug. But, uh, so yeah, we got the stud wall up. The next thing we're going to do is work on our stair treads and build the next thing I'm probably going to do is build our landing for this other side and then cap both of those off. So once we do those two landings and the treads, we'll probably call it a video and then move on to uh, upstairs framing. So enough chit chat. Let's do this. Just so some of you can see what I'm doing here for the lineup. My two by six, which is inch and a half, set up square there. Which looks like something's off with my stringer there, but is what it is. Big thing is I want to get the same gap edge to edge, so I set it up there, center it. You know what? I'm gonna flip this around just in case. Okay, about that in. I'm using screws just to make sure that they, you know, everything that I can do to avoid squeaky staircase. Pretty close to centered. There we go. Another one in here. Rinse and repeat. On to the next one. And what a perfect time for a mic to die. So if you've made this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. And if you don't mind, you know, hit that like and subscribe button. But also, leave something in the comments. You know, I'm making these videos to try and help everyone else who's wanting to learn and has a desire to get out of their comfort zone. So if there is a way that I can make these videos different to better benefit you all then uh, please let me know because i i do want to make it for y'all so back to the build here uh we're just putting in all the final stair treads big thing is you just want to make sure they are pushed in flush and as tight and then uh, make sure you use plenty of screws i prefer screws on this instead of nails that way they don't squeak again just like the floor there we go i got the thumbs up looks like we're done let's give her a quick little step test and see is it going to hold? Well, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Staircase is done. On the next episode, we're going to be doing all of our upstairs framing. So thanks again for watching. Again, if you got any comments, questions, concerns, tips and tricks, whatever, put it there in the comments and hit that like and subscribe button. See you next time.